It's always so windy out here. Anyways, I just put 50 bucks in my tank. I'm filling it up now. Let's see what, what it, if it takes the 50. I think it will. But yeah, I went ahead and got seven of these. So what happened was I gave them the first $100 bill and my phone rang. So I put it on the counter. I asked, I asked Laura, I said, uh, I'm sorry guys, it's so windy out here. Um, I asked Laura, I said, uh, and it's loud too. I'm on the corner of Flamingo and Decatur. Where's Decatur? Decatur. So if you guys been to um, Las Vegas, then you know that this is a busy street. But anyways, so I put the $100 bill on the, on the counter and I, I tell Laura, I said, hey, you think you'll give me three, 400? She said, I don't know. So I just, my phone rang. I left it on the counter and I just went outside and started talking on the phone. And I came back and I basically had four um, uh, Canadian Maple Leafs, the one they already owed me, and then the three. And so while we're talking, I go, I think I got another $100 bill in the car. And I'm like, okay. So I went and gave him the, the, the $100, went and got it, put it on the, on the, on the counter, and then he gave me two Canadian Maple Leafs. And he says, oh, you know what? Uh, my 2021s are in the, in the monster box, not open yet. Can I give it to you tomorrow? So one of these are not a 2021. It's not this one. I think it might be this one. Oh. Let's see. Oh, which one is it? This one. This was a 2015. So he basically told me. I said, well, hold on to it. He goes, nope, nope. I don't like owning anybody anything. He says, I hate the fact that I owed you that one. And you didn't come in. So this is a 2015. And yes, it did take 50 bucks. 14.2 gallons, almost 14.3 gallons for 50 bucks. And there's no inflation, right? This is a mid-sized car, guys, okay? This is a mid-sized Toyota. And mind you, if you guys are thinking about getting a car, get a Toyota, Camry, Avalon, Corolla. Uh, if it's a regular car, there's, there's nothing like a Toyota, man. They just, they last forever. The maintenance is low. And the gas is pretty good too, but it's just a very well-made car. But anyways, so yeah, so we picked up seven to the stack. I'm gonna keep the 2015 on deck uh, to the side. Where is it at? To the side so I can bring it back to him. But yeah, I've been purchasing a lot of uh, Bitcoin a lot lately too. I know you guys don't wanna hear that, but Bitcoin's on a dip as you can see, and it's in the 30s. And guys, I, I know it's gonna go up. Uh, there's a couple purchases that I made. I took a couple of pictures, not a lot of uh, pictures, but yeah. So there we have it guys, seven uh, ounces of, of Canadian maple leaves to the stack. And the reason why I get these, if, you, if you've never watched my videos or I've never explained this to you, basically it's like this. This is the second or third uh, most sought after sovereign coin or premium coin or actual coin in the world. Now what I mean by coin is ones with a face value on it, a dollar amount, right? I'm not talking about a round or anything, I'm talking about coins, maple leaves, uh, Silver Eagles, you know, ones with, uh, you know, Britannias, Cougarans, you know, the Kangaroos, all that stuff, right? This is up there. This is either number one, number two, or number three. Depends on who you ask. Uh, but for me, for the price, I just have to go with these. Uh, I, I like these better than all the rest of them, except for American Eagles. American Eagles are my favorite. But if I can get these for three, four hundred, I mean, come on now. Those new, those new people that came in, uh, they they were they asked them how much for American Eagle. They took you know Nick and them told them forty five bucks, you know, between forty three and forty five bucks, and and that's the market value they're going for that right now. That's that's way over spot price. You know what I mean? Now, Libertads are a little bit different. They're considered coins, but they're not because they don't have a face value. But those are kind of like collectibles, kind of, right? Uh, but this is why I buy Canadian Maple Leafs. If, if everything's equal with these and Philharmonics and the rest of the Sovereigns, I got to go with the Maple Leafs, man. I have to. So that's why I'm doing it. And then generic rounds for me personally, the price he gives me, is not enough difference between the generic rounds and this for me to buy a generic round. You know, I, all silver is not created equal, guys. So, And let me say this on a side note, too. The reason why I get these kind of prices is not because I spend a bunch of money. Of course, that's part of it. But it's two main reasons. One... I build a relationship with my coin shop owners. I get to know them personally. I call them by first name. They know me by first name. I come in there all the time, you know, all the time, you know, and I and I and I buy from them. So don't worry about spending. You know, you don't have to spend as much as I do to, to uh, or little or whatever. I don't know what your budget is, but but a percentage of your budget that you're spending on, on silver, if you can, guys, if you got a local coin shop, always keep your money local, man. 
and go to your favorite coin shop and go in there and, and shoot the shoot the you know what with them. You know what I'm saying? Spend your money with them. Spend your cash with them. And uh, even if it's just a little bit, break it up. You know, that's why I don't buy a whole bunch at once a lot. I like to break it up because that's more transactions I get with them. And that's more times I see them more often. You know, when I come in, they know, they know me by first name basis. They, they, they treat me like a VIP. And then also they give me the water and the, and the snack and stuff like that. Now, all coin shops are not going to do that. I got, I'm just I'm very fortunate, man. This is one of the reasons I'm considering staying in Las Vegas because of my coin shop. To be completely honest with you, I love a couple of coin shops I have back in Rochester, but the Nevada Coin and Jewelry is by far and away one of the best uh, coin shops in the in probably in the country. To be honest, I've been to a few of them. I haven't been to a lot, but from what I've seen, it's it's my favorite so far. So yeah, so guys, with your local coin shops, always remember keep a good uh, relationship with them. Go see them all the time, and make sure to spend as much as you can instead of you know going buying online and on Facebook and on Craigslist. Make sure you spend your money. Uh, locally and do it with your local coin shops. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Do me a favor guys, if you uh, have anything to say or you know want to ask questions or talk to me about anything or what you're stacking, please guys, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Do me a favor guys, if you like my video, hit the like button only if you like it. If you like my channel and my videos, go ahead and share them. Alright, I'm sharing stuff with you guys people walking around it's a nice little couple over here maybe i should go be a silver ambassador and give them give them a silver you know but i gotta quiz them first i i haven't shown you those videos yet i stop people and talk to them and quiz them i ask them questions i, I teach them stuff and then i quiz them i say if you get this question right i'll give you a, a free piece of free piece of silver I, I do that you know what i mean uh please guys that's why you guys need to share my videos we can grow this channel all right because you already know sharing is caring you guys also know i love you you guys know that very much guys and gals especially the gals but i love you guys too all right i'll talk to you soon seriously guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it it means the world to me when you guys watch and leave comments and stuff like that i can't tell you how much it means to me all right i'll talk to you guys soon peace and love